What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with the first look at what Nokia hopes is going to be their savior, the Lumia 800. This is the first partnership between Nokia and Microsoft, or Nokia, depending on where in the world you are located. Uh, it is running Windows Phone 7 Mango. It's Think of it as the N9 with Windows Phone 7 and a camera button. I'm very excited to take a look at this guy. I've been hearing for a while about Nokia's build quality. I've seen it on past handsets, but I'm really curious how their flagship device is going to work, feel, and respond. So let's see if Nokia's got one more bullet left in the chamber. All right, so we got a pretty typical Nokia package here, Nokia Lumia 800. Some information there letting you know what's gonna be going on. So you've got Microsoft Office Mobile, Xbox Live, Internet Explorer Mobile, and Zune. That's where Zune lives now. It does not live in a device or at least a standalone device anymore. It's now a software application. So we will slide this guy on out. Nothing in there, just hard cardboard. And here is the phone with a handy tab. We'll take advantage of said handy tab. The phone feels very uh, nice in the hand, at least with the plastic. Push it off to the side for just a second and see what else we're gonna get. Cardboard. Looks like some books. Looks like a lot of books, actually. So if you want to do some reading, quick start guide in a few different languages. So there's that. Push that stuff off. Digging in, we're also going to have a case. And it's a rubber case. If I can pull this off, plastic's harder than it looks. I'm just gonna rip into it. There we go. So it's a plasticky rubber soft case to protect your device. Great. And then we've got the accessories. We've got your power adapter. If you're in the US, you're going to need obviously a different one. Uh, this one will work in the UK and other parts of Europe. We've got a pair of headphones with inline mic support. Looks like pretty standard headphones. And the all important get information on your phone cable, micro USB. Great, push all that off to the side. Let's take a look at this guy. And let's run through the specs. I'm actually really curious to get this plastic off. So you know what? I'm just gonna be like a kid at Christmas. I'm gonna go ahead and rip through all this plastic and then I'll talk about the specs. I wonder what this thing feels like. Ooh. It's got a very nice uh, feel to it. You can really see why Nokia's got their uh, reputation for high build quality. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and power this. I'll see if it's got enough juice to do so. I'll use that button right there. Ah, it's vibrating. That's a good sign. All right, so let's run through what this guy is, what it's got, what it does. Uh, so what it's got is a weight of 142 grams. It's got an AMOLED capacitive touchscreen capable of showing 16 million colors. It's 3.7 inches uh, with a resolution of 480 by 800. So for those of you that are keeping track at home, uh, it's about a 252 uh, PPI pixel density. It's got Gorilla Glass, so you can throw this in with the Gorilla and he won't scratch it. It's got Nokia's clear black technology, which I don't know if the phone just turned off or if you can see the clear black technology, or it might not have enough battery. It's doing all kinds of vibrating things. Uh, essentially what that means is blacks are gonna look really black uh, on here. It's got the proximity sensor, multi-touch display, all that other stuff uh, that you would expect. So what's powering this guy? You've got a 1.4 gigahertz Scorpion processor with the Adreno 205 GPU. Uh, for those of you keeping track at home, or at least if you're familiar with Windows Phone 7, you'll know that it's a Snapdragon chipset uh, that is going to live in here. On the back of this guy, on its rear end, we've got a camera, as we do on most phones. This guy is an 8 megapixel sensor, uh, which can shoot video at 720p at 30 frames per second. All right, now let's take a look at the phone. It's got a curved glass uh, display on it. Hopefully it's gonna pick up on camera. Uh, so as you go ahead and touch the phone, you can sort of feel that curve. Uh, there are seams here all along it, but as you run your finger over, you almost can't feel that seam at all, uh, which is a sort of representative, uh, pretty nice build quality. It's gonna be a sort of a reoccurring theme uh, with Nokia. So on the left-hand side, we'll start with the simplest. There's nothing, it's naked not wearing any clothes, no buttons to press here on the left side. You can try and push buttons, but they're not gonna live there. On the right-hand side is where all the action's gonna happen. 
volume rocker up and down, power and lock button, and the Microsoft mandated camera button here uh, on the bottom. This is something that the N9 uh, does not have. On the top though, there's some interesting business going on here. So there are, we can get this guy to focus hopefully, there we go. Uh, you can see what we're looking at. So we've got one push, two slide, and all the way on the left you have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. So we'll go ahead and push, not doing anything, and slide, try and push that again. There we go. And that's where, assuming it'll stay open, that's where the charging port's gonna be, and that is of course micro USB. And if we follow the instructions and we slide, we should be able to get access to, at least in theory, slide it this way. Aha, the micro SIM slot, which is going to live in there. That's obviously where your micro SIM's gonna go. No full size SIM here. So push all that back, and see so if we can follow the instructions again in reverse. So we got that and slide back down. This seems like a cool gimmick, but another piece to break. Who knows that's gonna be durable or not. So this is the phone. This is the Lumia 800, one of the flagship Windows Phone 7.5 devices. Fortunately, I can't show you much more about it since the battery is dead on it. Uh, I'll charge it up and I'll let you know what else it can do. Uh, from a storage standpoint, it's got 16 gigs of storage inside of there with 512 megabytes of RAM, making it hum along hopefully smooth. I'm a big fan of Windows Phone 7. I think it's a really elegant operating system. And this is undoubtedly one of the flagship Windows Phone 7 devices that's available. Uh, Windows Phone 7 really sips battery, so it should be able to get plenty of time out of the 1,450 milliamp hour battery. Uh, you should get about 265 hours of talk time, and, or sorry, standby time, and 13 uh, hours of talk time. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this guy on. Of course, stay tuned for a full review and feature overviews and all that bid ass that goes along with the new phone. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video.